Sylvanas and stealing his rag. Because that's how it should always work. Ooh. Okay. Is there a world where you just go Roots, Innervate, Power of the Wild? <laughs> roots, Innervate, Power of the Wild. Depending what class I'm playing against, but... Playing against Freeze Mage might, might be pretty good. He knows he's playing Freeze Mage, or he has an He had an opportunity to know it's Freeze Mage. So, uh, that hand's not looking bad on the Freeze Mage side. He has things to do. Lots of things. So maybe we are going to see the... Uh... Anyway, nah. Okay, so... Is hero power better than playing novice? Ooh, just going dupes here. I want to say this is aggressive, yeah. but it's something. Yeah, it's something. Now, if you're going to do something like that, like you're not going to kill it just with why would 2 one, one so wild growth. Definitely wild growth. But it's not even 2 one, one it's just... 2 one once again. Roots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two, one, one. It's a one drop card going to uh, the Doomsayer there. Not exactly, you know. Oh, Mire Keeper. Crazy. Gaining mana. Yeah. Choosing to draw? Yeah, he chose to draw. Looks like oh, you know, he, got, draw. he got another Norse, so that's not that bad, too. Oh, so that's perfect. So. My option would have been to draw. That would have given me the power of the or no, yeah the power of the wild as a way to develop on the board after gaining that two additional mana. So you actually you're starting to flood the board back, or you have something to contest the nourish last turn to gain two mana. Like he would have been able to develop on the board, and then he would have drawn into the second nourish. Of course, he didn't know this. Scarab? Question mark. I beat Galdo. Sec. Uh, answer yeah. the second. Yeah. Air. They also. He also the acolyte, like you don't really want him to draw either. Well that is yeah. true. Immediately oh. shutting that down. And it allows you to root this turn, but he looks like he's not even gonna go for that. Probably go for the two two So he, he actually picked the he picked the, the scarab. Okay, so this or actually three Yeah, there's three opportunities to get heals. There's Earth of Seer, Nur uh not nourish, but uh heal for eight or gain eight armor. So many options. So many options. That seems to always be a problem with the decks that you know, have discovery and stuff like that. Yeah, like, like there's so many RNG involved. You're not 100% sure look, like Feral which is the correct play as well. Feral Spit's really good here. I mean, not Feral Spit, uh, Feral Rage. Uh, Feral Rage allows him to counter Alex Straza and just gain 8. Like, not really kill Alex Straza, but allows him to go back up to 23 after getting hit with it. Start to fight, you know. I um, feel like Claw was an option yeah, there, Claw too. Claw definitely an option there. Gain two more armor, another heal. Heal two. Not Ice Block. Not Ice Block at all. Wow. This bug hasn't been fixed like, yet, like the halo around the druid. That and Deadly Kid's just going crazy with scrolling through his hand, so I'm being like attracted to it even more. So we're, so we're gonna see a loot order, just getting as much draw as kind of possible. We're looking at the ping at the 1 1, which is reasonable, because you don't want a, like a free trade with a 1 1 into the like, loot order. You want something else being traded. Well, it's not even just that. No, just draw. draw. Just like, you up. don't need mana you already like that option of drawing or not, not drawing but going into something like mana excel like it passed like he already had a good turn with it he, he passed yeah, that that's kind of true he is all you're already quite ahead choosing to go with blizzard seems like a really awkward turn for it too i don't know if i like that because then he has he has he has to ping the board's gonna cost will be frozen and it's easy to clear the no, one No, he, right? he has the answer to the story. Like, he already has the answer to the Doomsayer. Yeah. Like, he has, uh, the Wrath plus the Feral Rage. Um... And the Mulch. I think the only thing he's scared of is... The second Blizzard? Still not even that great. He did go with the Manic, so, right? No, he went with the Pick a Token. The ice Block pickup, that was pretty big. 
uses his hero power. He also developed a frost barrier. Did he actually have to develop the ice block that turn? Like what? He need okay. He has the frost bolt. He has the fireball. He so and the uh, the thousand Oh man! How much damage is that? Look at that! Look at that arm! And also doing tons of damage oh. at the same time too. He topped a casual. <laughs> That's gross. How does this go wrong from here? Like, gaining that much armor. So he needs multiple turns to fight back. See, like now he's forced into using the the arcane in a lot. Wasn't really that likely that he was going to get to play. Ooh, Ooh. That's something. Wow. wow. The Fandral? He's going to, like, yeah, even pumping up the Fandral, too, is just super dirty. The Fandral? Wow, that's amazing. Wondering what order they come in. It makes the one once, then they get plus plus. I guess Flame Strike wipes up this board easily. Flame Strike? What Flame Strike? Yeah, there's no Flame Strike. My apologies, no Flame Strike. And then you see him top deck Flame Strike. That's pretty funny. Is there a Doomsayer? Uh, I can't that ever. No. Okay, so there's actually no fear. No fear. No fear at all. Well, even... I don't think there was anything to fear, because if he does see the uh, Doomsayer come down, he has the Mulch, he has the uh, Savage Roar plus oh. Wrath. Um, like, like, that was the card that everybody was cutting, because it just doesn't do anything when it causes well, seven. He decides to use you it. either loses you. I think that's the only right. card he loses to. That's why he's using, using it now. But Thalnos still clears everything but the Fandral. Yeah. If Flame Shark is played. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna see Alex Rouse being played. Oh. Gonna see the bolts, gonna see the hero power. There's a lot of ways to remove this. You can, yeah, you can even use it. Ooh! Right By the way, um. Now, Gennon was actually able to pick up Lethal those last two turns with picking up the Ice Lance and the second Fireball. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of damage next turn. Okay, so he's using the the least healthy minion to actually go trade into the Alex. There. He's gonna go for the Yogg, just so he can get some heal. I like it, I like it. Hero power. Oh. Well, if he was doing this play, was there a way to put his opponent down to one and not pop yeah, the block? Yeah, he was already down one and not pop the block. Okay, Hextract's good. Come on, Dart. Oh. No, what do you want? Dart. 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 Oh, Bash? Oh, that oh, was no, good. No, 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 I can't go to that face no. because it's immune. That's why. Oh, oh, wow. So, yeah, it would have been better if you played Yogg first. I feel you always play Yogg before you pop oh, the block. I think you always yeah. do that. It seems like, yeah, it'd be more of a correct play. Like, we saw, uh... Who did we see last... Last game, uh... It wasn't Nasa, was it? No. Yeah. It was Kid, wasn't it? Oh, wait, no, 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 it was Nasa. What about Nasa? Like, we, we saw it multiple times now. But, like, just trying to get that flare out, like, this seems like a possibility. It's always an option, like, that in. Like... If you have a guaranteed way to just pop your opponent's block outside of, you know, Yogg healing your opponent, 